heck's taking them so long? Casey, you told them 6.30 sharp, right? Everything's getting cold. Relax, April. You know getting from the layer to anywhere is always a pain in the butt. But all this food... Is fine, babe. I'm more worried about screwing up the toast later. Are you nervous to tell them? Sorta. Of. But they're family. Still can't believe you said yes. Well, I used to think I'd end up marrying you out of pity. Then I couldn't wait for you to ask me. It took you long enough. Sorry about that. It's just... The streets never really showed me how to care about anything but myself for most of my life. Which sounds stupid now, because I wouldn't even have a life if it wasn't for you. And the guys. Speaking of, you're right. They're taking way too long to get here. I'm starving. I know. It's not like them at all. I'll call Donnie and find out where they- Make a hole! Incoming! Oh my god, Raf! Ambush! Ambush? Who? Raf, you're hurt! Forget me. Master Splinter. Raf! Where? Over here! April, grab the med kit! Bring everything! <sighs> oh my god! This is bad. Easy. Easy. Donnie, help me cut the clothing away and clear all this blood. I... I... I don't know where to start. Snap out of it! We need to find which wound's the most dangerous. Now focus! Yeah, okay. Sorry. I'm good. Who the hell ambushed you? Foot bastards. Large strike team. Jumped us when we came out of the sewers. Leo... Nado. Rear guard, Sensei. Making sure we all got clear. Screw that! Come on, Raph. Let's go make sure Leo got clear, too. Damn straight. It's body count time. Every damn foot in this city's about to find out how big a mistake they made tonight. Stand down, Raph. We're good for now. I turned the last of them back in the subway. Looks like they might be running towards the east side. The docks, maybe. What about the truce, Leo? Thought we were past all this with them. Honestly, I'm surprised it lasted as long as it did. That's what you get when you make deals with the devil. How's father? He... He lost so much blood. We're doing the best we can, but without a real doctor, I... I don't know if we can save him. Understood. Casey, pull the van around. I'll call Dr. Lee. Wait, what? I know we shouldn't move him, but... No, you're right, April. We need help. This war... <clears throat> Just... Matter of time. Oroku against Hamato. Always. Could I try to end it once and for all? Shh. We got you, Sensei. It's okay. Hey. Where's Raph? Damn it. Hey, Casey? A little help here. This whole April still being alive thing is nuts, huh? Yeah, hard to believe anyone survived that. Talk about miracles, right, Mike? 
Uh, yeah, yeah, right. Last thing I remember was the explosion. And then... I was out of it pretty bad when I finally came to. Couldn't remember anything for days. I kinda miss that one, I guess. No kinda about it, Raph. And why was that, huh? I don't know, Donnie. Wouldn't be because he flipped out, ran off, and did something stupidly hot-headed. Again, would it? And how many times has my stupid hothead saved all your asses, Leo? Not enough. Never enough. Yeah, at least I didn't try to off myself at the first whiff of failure. You stupid, pathetic fool! You always make our entire life all about you! I fought every battle you have, even the idiotic ones you started! And you still want to judge me? You knew what my mission was in the tower! A one-way ticket from the start! For our father, for our family, for our... Honor. Look, I should be dead. That fall should have killed me, but it didn't. I'm still here, still alive, to fight. I lost the battle, but the war goes on. We've all had so much stolen from us. No more. I will finish what we started. What Master Splinter raised us to do. The last Oroku... must die. See that? What? It looked like... Never mind. That'd be too crazy. <laughs> Blood. Where is she? Huh? <laughs> Where's Karai? Imbeciles. I gave you one simple command. Kill the mutants. And now you have the utter gall to return here to nurse your own pathetic wounds and wallow in your failure? This will not stand. We must finish what we have started. The truce between the Foot and Hamato clans has been broken. Blood has been spilled. And there is no turning back now. What? And so, our failure finds us. So be it. Destroy the beast! Bring it! Sending these wimps to do your dirty work, huh, Karai? You already made that mistake once tonight! You ambushed my family! You killed my father! Only one way this ends! So stop hiding behind these scrubs, and we'll finish this, once and for all! Yes, we will. <laughs> Foolish, undisciplined brute. Brute? You got no idea! 
Enough. My soldiers may have failed to take your head, mutant. Ah! But I will not. You missed! <laughs> My turn! No! Michelangelo, what the heck are you doing up? You should still be resting. Uh, couldn't sleep, so I made some tea. Hope that's okay? Of course it is. This was your kitchen way before I moved in. I'm sorry, I just got worried when I didn't find you in bed. The tea's from when you lived here. <laughs> Hope it's still good. <laughs> Honestly? Best cup of tea I've had in a long time. Me? I run on high octane these days. Sometimes there's just not enough caffeine in the world, you know? Um... My arm? Uh... Yeah. Sorry. Don't be. Got one just like it for a leg. Souvenirs from the last time we saw each other. I'm so happy you're alive, Mikey. I... Uh, yeah. Thanks, April. You too. All this time, I thought... I know. We've got some serious catching up to do. But not before we get some breakfast in us. These eggs are real, by the way. Not the synthetic crap we're usually stuck with. Courtesy of the black market. Fresh batch, too. Can't let Salmonella finish what Hiroto couldn't. Word on the street is that you really rattled his cage. Maybe. But rattling cages wasn't the plan. I'm sure it wasn't. You know, you're lucky to be alive. Yeah. Still trying to process it all. That fall would have killed me when I was younger. Instead... Well, I'm no Donatello, but it doesn't take a genius to see your mutation has progressed over the years. You're bigger, stronger, and you're healing amazingly fast. Not my head. Everything's so fuzzy. Still don't know how I got here. Back to the lair. Hold that thought. Casey, breakfast! Wait, what? Casey's still alive too? Michelangelo, I'd like you to meet my daughter, Casey Marie Jones. We kinda already met. <laughs> you were a lot less conscious and a lot more bloody at the time. This is so weird. I've been hearing about you turtles all my life, but I'd never thought I'd get to meet one of you for real. I obviously got that all wrong, huh? Casey? <laughs> yep, that's me. And you're supposed to be the funny one, right? Like I said... Lots of catching up to do. What is wrong with you? I said, show me a decent fight! Kill me, cowards! Or I will have you killed! Yes, that's it. Masterful. 
unfortunately for you, there is only one master! The lesson has ended. Clean this mess. Come, Captain Fukuda. I want a full update. Has our little problem been solved, Captain? No, Master. The rogue mutant has not yet been located. Hmm. Disappointing. There was a time when those things slinked through the alleyways and across the rooftops of the city with near impunity. They even had the utter audacity to brand themselves ninja, though the truth was far less impressive than that. The creature is fearfully skulking in the shadows, no doubt, which means a shift in tactics is in order, dear Captain. A shift, Master? Yes. I want all our troops engaged in a full crackdown of the city, inside and out. And once we capture the filthy creature, we will destroy it with extreme public prejudice. Go now, Captain. See to my orders. But remember, you are newly raised to your rank in the wake of Captain Ikuza's failure. So I will allow for your inability to locate the beast just this once. The price for failing me again will be the same as your predecessors. Ooh, man, Mom. <coughs> Ooh, sorry. After two hours of kendo, that sure hit the spot. Yeah, I almost forgot what a real meal was like. <clears throat> Thanks, April. <laughs> You're welcome. We do okay, all things considered. Yeah, just don't expect anything fancier at Rock Bottom. Rock Bottom? Just a nickname. New York split into three districts, top, middle, and bottom. Rock Bottom's the old street level. Our people. And there's the rest of us. The rest of us? Rock Bottom's the battlefield, and the rest of us underground. <laughs> We're the resistance. Which we'll tell him all about after he gets more rest. Maybe you can grab him some clean linens, hmm? <laughs> sure. Okay. Come on, Michelangelo. If there's one thing I know about my mom, she's not gonna take no for an answer. So, kendo, huh? Yeah, been doing it since I was little. Other stuff too. Hard not to. When you grow up in the middle of all this, <laughs> it blows my mind to be standing here with you. I heard so many stories, and Mom showed me some of the old photos. You guys were practically like storybook heroes to me. I even tried to learn as much martial arts as I could. On my own, mostly. Spent a lot of time watching old training videos and lots of reading. That ninja warrior part. <laughs> that always gets me pumped. Hmm. Not sure if pumped is the goal. Well, I know some of the history, too. Things like Bushido... And... Supuku. These... are all very personal to me. Thank you. Sure. Once I saw what, uh, who you were, I didn't want to leave anything behind. Considering what you were about to do, I understand why, you know, the honor of it. Did... Did you say anything to your mom? Nope. Nothing. Things have been pretty rough the last few years. So, to see a little bit of hope in her eyes again, well... Thanks. Again. <laughs> Actually, you can thank me by telling me more about this. My Japanese ain't the greatest, but I understand enough to know that this is special. It's handwritten like a journal, but... 
It's like instructions for all kinds of martial arts styles and techniques and important life lessons, right? Yeah, something like that. It was my father's. Can I ask you a question? Where have you been all this time? Yeah, that. After all the bad stuff that happened, it was too much to handle. So, I just started walking. Into the mountains. A kid from the sewers of Lower Manhattan, straight into the wild. Bad idea. I'd seen photos of snow-covered mountains, but never set foot on one. And being cold-blooded, I didn't have a chance. So, I found a place to meet my end. Days, a week, maybe longer. I don't know how long I laid there. But my mutant body would not die. I started to hear... Voices. Telling me that my destiny was incomplete. That I couldn't leave yet. Eventually, it got warmer and the mountains provided sustenance and solitude. A time to look deep in my soul for answers. I read and reread my father's book, looking for some kind of balance, maybe even a final piece. I spent years alone, thinking this was where I was supposed to be, like a stupid reward or deserved punishment or something. But that's not the way of the world. The real world found me again. And I almost let it take me. Monster! Freak! Kill it! <laughs> I welcomed the pain first. At least I felt something after all that time. That's when I saw the looks on their faces. Laughing. Taking a life just to take a life. For fun. No honor. That's when I got mad. Really mad. We were raised with respect and honor. Trained from birth for redemption for our family. That was my destiny. On the battlefield. To the end. Father's book was the path to learn and master all forms of martial arts. To adapt to every challenge, every form of combat. I was the last of my clan. Masterless. Ronin. And it was up to me to restore our family's honor. My training reached its end. There would be no peace until I fulfilled my destiny. It was time to come home. To face it. To complete my master's mission. Kill the last Oroku. And this last page? What's it mean? <laughs> Means I still got work to do. Good. Cause my crew's gonna help you. No. I appreciate the offer. But I won't be responsible for anyone else getting killed because of me. Well, too bad. Cause I wasn't asking. You wouldn't even be standing here if it wasn't for us. We got trouble coming now that you stirred things up. So if you don't want help taking out Hiroto, then stand in line. <laughs> What's so funny? Just trying to decide if you're more like your dad or your mom.
Check it. Yo. When my teacher asked me what I want to be when I grow up, I straight looked her in the eye like I just did not give a fuck. And I said, I just want to be a Ninja Turtle. Fight crimes, write rhymes, my favorite one, he wears the purple. He's a brainiac who also has insane attacks. And when he waves his staff, you know he kicks a major ass. But honestly, I think I'll make a separate contribution. Pick a unique color mask and join the revolution. My expertise in martial arts is minimal, but mainly it's because I eat a different type of pizza on the daily. But I'm mega motivated, the opposite of lazy. And I plan to buy a turtle van with all my college savings. What you mean it's not a real career? Did you hear? Crime has doubled since the previous year, which means someone's got to step up to the plate. And I shall demonstrate how I can infiltrate and disappear beneath the sewer grate Pass me the amphibian I'ma grab the mutagen And we'll dip in together Like two voices sung in unison Ready to give up humanity To make a difference I'ma kill the foot God as my witness I hope you get the point Just like a ninja star Keep the comics running You can call me Sinistar The crime world's a china shop And I'm the Minotaur Heroes in a half shell You know who we are Who we are Ninja Turtles